That's it. I did it. I captured the award-winning image. No, I'm just kidding. But watch the video anyway. Good morning, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. Back here at Grapevine Lake. I was here yesterday. Uh, I was, uh, wasn't was really happy with the sky I had yesterday, so I was watching the, the weather last night, early this morning, and it looked like uh, I was gonna have an opportunity for a little cloud coverage, uh, certainly better than yesterday, and maybe uh, uh, some uh, deeper kind of reds, uh, pinks in the background, so. And I, I certainly got that. Uh, Although I wouldn't say it was really spectacular, but it was uh, the the color was kind of kind of soft, and uh, I, was, I think it'll really add to the uh, silhouette image. So, the uh, the tree that I had tried to capture yesterday, uh, take a look at that right here. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was okay, but I just I really got here too late, and I missed the uh, missed the color that I was really looking for. So I tried to capture that this morning. Anyway, we'll see how that turns out. I'm gonna scout around a little bit more and see uh, see what else I can get into. I really, uh, really like this area. These bluffs here are are really spectacular. So it's, um, it's actually a really, really beautiful place. Um, you wouldn't think that you'd have such areas. It's more like a kind of an Oklahoma territory, but you wouldn't think you'd have such areas in uh, in Texas. But uh, nevertheless, they're here. So uh, I uh, I suspect I'll. Return here many times for different compositions. So, I was trying to figure out how to capture this one and uh, some of the rocks uh, right there in the foreground. So, uh, no doubt we'll return here many times to uh, to capture the right light on this. So, it's all about the light. It's all about the light. Yeah, I think that's uh, probably going to be an image. I'm gonna try to capture that now. It's kind of like a test image, and we'll see how it, see how it turns out later in post processing. You know, it truly is all about the light. In landscape photography, light is everything. And uh, you know, if you have to get up at uh, 3 a.m. to be somewhere, or you know, hike hike a mountain and spend the night, or whatever it takes, uh, you know, for me. Yeah, that's it. So, uh, getting up every morning, early, whatever it takes. So, you know, I really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy what I do here. So, just can't. Uh, I can't imagine many things being better than this. Certainly not television, anyway. Nature's TV. It's the best TV in the world, right here. I've got the best show on right now. Well, I, uh, I don't know if the image uh, was any better than yesterday's image. We'll have to see when I get back in post-processing, but I, I think the light was certainly better. But uh, I did review the images uh, that, I, that I took yesterday, um, and uh, I'm, they're okay. It actually was better than I thought. Certainly not an award winner, but uh, nonetheless, it was, uh, it was okay. To uh, today, I, I don't know. Uh, I think the color... Uh, is better and I don't know about the composition so you know as I say it's all about the light but you know it's all about the composition too so I could have great light today in a poor composition and um, that's no good so I thought I'd share the uh, the way I kind of plan for a good sky in the morning so um, what I typically do is I use a couple of apps but the things I'm looking for 
are um, high clouds. That's I think high clouds are super important, and that's the start. So high clouds, good visibility, um, low winds, and low humidity. And I think that's pretty much the secret to. Uh, although there are there are many. I, I mean, if I could perfectly predict it, or if anybody could, you know, we it'd be award-winning images every time you come out. You'd only come out when you had the perfect skies. So uh, not realistic, though. So the apps are are a guide. Uh, I, I think the one true tell um, is high clouds. High clouds tend to, uh, if there's going to be clear skies, you know, I, I mean, pollution, all, all of that stuff is a factor when it comes to to capturing a good sky. After a great rain is also, uh, you know, if you've had a lot of rain, it's also a good indication. You know, it kind of washes the skies, so to speak, makes them uh, uh, provides much better color in the sky so there's a lot of things um, you know and feel free to comment share your thoughts on on kind of ways that you uh, capture or that you plan for a good sky so lots of uh, lots of tricks to the trade so to speak so mainly apps uh, I think the apps provide a lot of data uh, one in particular I'll uh, I'll show you that or I'll at least list that app right here that I think is uh, you know no I don't get any promotions or anything off of this stuff so uh, but anyway, just my thoughts to you, just sharing my uh, my experiences. So anyway, all right, that sun's really coming in now, starting to warm up. So I'm going to sit here a little bit longer and enjoy some coffee, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Hey, uh, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like button, uh, subscribe, leave me a comment. And uh, as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail. <laughs>